hypothermia is way less deadly than hyperthermia is. Hypothermia is actually self-preserving. When we get hot, remember we denature those proteins. It only takes about five degrees of temperature, internal core body temperature rise for things to go haywire. How far do you think it takes before we get into serious danger? Not yet dead, but danger with hypothermia. Well, the average core body temp is about 98.6. Not until I reach approximately 84 degrees or so, do I think to myself, wow, they might not come back. That's a lot. That's a big difference. Now, why is hypothermia not such a deadly problem? Like I said, it's self-preserving. When we get cold, what happens is our metabolism starts to slow down. We start to shut things down. Think about it like being in a power outage and you have a generator. If the power outage happens at your house and you turn the generator on, you don't try to power everything, you just power the essential things. Well, as I get cold, I shut things off that I don't need, preserving the main components that I do need, like my brain and my heart, which means I have a very low demand on the system. And even if my heart's only beating four times a minute, six times a minute, remember I'm only trying to supply my brain so I can actually stay alive. Being cold is uncomfortable, but it's really not deadly. It takes a lot to die of hypothermia.